If you see me walking down the street and I start to cry each time you walk over, walk over. Hey, you guys, how y'all doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Y'all already know what it is. To the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, I took a while, you guys, before I watched. Um, y'all probably say, y'all, you just not watched it yet. Um, took me about a year to actually emotionally prepare myself and to watch the um, documentary that they uh, call Whitney. So I watched it on last evening. And, um, wow, there was, and let me just put it to you like this. First of all, I felt such a kinship with Whitney, which was one of the reasons why it took me a long time to watch it. Um, I met Whitney once. I didn't take a picture with Whitney because when I met her, um, it was, on the rough side of the game. And I didn't want to remember her, nor did I want to see her in that situation. So we didn't take a picture. But what I did do, however, was tell Whitney I was praying for her. And Whitney understood that. And um, I told her that I used to go to Bethlehem Temple Church apostolic faith. Um, and we laughed a little bit. But she said, oh, y'all, y'all really sanctified her. <laughs> So there was a church camaraderie that I just wanted to um, bank. I, I wanted to remember when I talked about her. Um, and that's when something that's near and dear to my heart. Now, of course, I met a, you know, so many singers and that. And that's not um, what was important. What was important in this whole thing is I believe everything that happened. I believe Gary, when he said that, I felt very disturbed by his disdain for Robin. And you can see it. And although Whitney loved her brother Gary, um, she could feel that too. Because when you got to know what that feels like. And like I said, I thought our lives were so similar, even back in the day. Um, I'm a few years older than them. But I knew, I knew that we had such similar lives. And what bothered me, which happened a little bit after the video was already released, was the fact that her family members still, after all this time, after her being dead, seven years maybe, what, five, six, seven years, that when they saw that, all they could do was say that it was a lie because Dion Warwick, of course, none of us were there, didn't want to really believe the fact that her sister could have molested Whitney. And I found that such a fucking travesty. I found that so hard to deal with. And those y'all out there who have been victims of any kind of abuse, sexual abuse, um, mental abuse, emotional abuse, to know that that has happened to you and then to have somebody in denial to the, to the point where they think that somebody would just get on television and lie to the whole world about something that's so personal. And even the brother saying that it happened to him. What do you think? He said it because he wanted some props. I mean, he's got his problems and you can see him. And those of us who were victims or perpetrators of sexual assault, y'all know that's one of the hardest things to come back from. And those are the things that live hold, leave holes in your soul. And the thing about it is a lot of people don't want to talk about the holes that are left in their souls. But they got them. And it's evident 
by how crazy the world is performing and behaving. And there's a lot of us running around here with holes in our souls. I want to um, commend, first of all, and acknowledge anybody that's out there that is realizing that they have insecurities, they got holes in their souls, they got trust, they got abandonment issues, they got all types of issues, and they're mindful enough or have enough courage or have enough love for themselves to take that hard step to be like, okay, let's get to the bottom of this. Let's get down to the heart of the matter. Because I do believe that those of us who want to stay in the heart of the matter, no matter how ugly and sometimes scary it can be, um, it is those of us that stay in it that are in it to win it. Okay, and um, stand on it. I think what happened um, in that documentary, I saw a lot of pain. I saw a lot of um, disrespect. I saw a lot of, um, and although I, you know, love Bobby, just the aura around him was a bit like a guy that's jealous of a, a spouse that is receiving more attention. It's in, a lot of insecurities. You can see him right there in his behavior and how he treated her and her being so addicted. So addicted. And wanting to be loved for her. Coupled with that abuse, it's just too much. And another thing, I do believe that Nip way long on the course of drug abuse by the time she met Bobby. And I know it's hard for a lot of people to believe because they want to be able to blame Bobby for everything because he's already a fuck up and everybody knows it. But that's one we can leave alone. Because um, in a lot of ways, that, that documentary, yeah, it did. It opened my eyes. It solidified, I should say, validated a lot of things that I thought about most kids growing up in a church with dogma parents or preacher parents and um, do as I say and not as I do. Uh, but she passed, Sissy, you passed the gift on to your daughter, and I'm not going to stay on you too hard. But I know parents like you as well that are always judging their daughters and always trying to make their daughters and seeing the daughter's imperfections. When you have so many of your own, I see that in my mother. There was a lot of my mother I saw in Sissy and um, the, the bully. And, um, but I know you loved her in your way. And I'm, I'm, I also know that you were very extremely hard on her to a point where she didn't want to be around you in some, in some ways. You know, that's just the mother and daughter war. But with that being said, um, if y'all haven't saw it, you, you look at it. I'm late, so I'm sure most of y'all have seen it. So just tell me what y'all think. Leave a comment below if you have saw the, that Whitney documentary. What do you think about those allegations of sexual, uh, her being sexually molested um, by Dee Dee Warwick? What do you think about Dion saying that it's a lie and Sissy saying that she don't, doesn't believe it? even though this is her son getting on national television, I mean, a national documentary that's going to last forever to say he was molested. Um, it's a denial of the river. Do y'all think it's, the, uh, what do you say, the river Nile in Egypt? Or do you think, um, you know, it was not for publicity. Stuff? I just want to hear what y'all got to think about that. What y'all think about that documentary if you saw? So leave your comments below. If you like what you hear, like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.